Good morning, everyone. It's 629 here in the Fox 61 CT DOT Traffic Center. Lots to get to this morning as we are expected to have some significant traffic delays, not only down the shoreline, but pretty much all throughout the state as people are trying to evacuate their areas. Let's get you right out to the maps right now because as of right now, things are looking pretty good. But we do have some closures and some evacuations that we have gotten in from several different municipalities. Let's get you right out to those right now. We do have a couple of different towns that uh, have those. East Haven, over 50 streets are in mandatory evacuation zones. They were told to leave by 9 o'clock last night. We were seeing some heavy volume on the roads on both 95 and 84 in that area. But make sure, like we keep saying, Download the Fox 61 News app, and you can always use our website, fox61.com. It's a great resource to get any information um, and any updates as it becomes available with these evacuations. Like I said, we are expecting some significant volume on the roads this morning as Hurricane Henri barrels in. Next, we have a couple more towns to discuss. Let's move on to our next screen. Groton, we do have some mandatory evacuations there. Shore Ave and South Prospect Street, Beach Pond Road and Jupiter Point Road, and also Pine Island Road. And as we move on to the next city, like I said, fox61.com and our Fox 61 News app is a really great resource to get all the latest information. Next to New Haven, New Haven has not issued a mandatory evacuation, just a recommended evacuation, but Old Saybrook is also recommended as well. All residents are urged to evacuate. Erica, I'm going to send things back over to you for now. Lauren, thanks so much.